Let's talk about adding videos to Canvas. I'm gonna go from easiest to best. I'm Angie, let's go ahead and dive in. So I'm here in my Canvas modules and I've created a page for us, but all these techniques that we're using are gonna work anywhere you've got the rich content editor. Let me click on edit so that you can see what that looks like. This means that you can do any of these tools in pages. Um, an assignment, announcements, or a discussion board. I've got several different options here that you can use, so stick with me so you can see which one you like the best. This very first one is the insert media tool. It's going to allow you to upload a video that you've got stored on your computer. To do this one, the very first thing that I do is to put my cursor where I want that video to live. You can even add some instructions first and then put your, your cursor where you want it. But I wanna go up to the insert menu. So I'm gonna go insert and then choose media, upload, record media. Now it gives me a couple of options. I wanna show you this record option because it's a really great way to quickly add a video. If I click on webcam here, I can quickly add a video recording and then have it stored directly onto this page. Now I'm not gonna do that. Instead, I'm gonna go over to computer and I wanna add a file from my computer. I'm gonna click on that rocket ship. It's gonna take me over to my file options there and I'm just gonna go ahead and choose a video and then I'll click on submit. Now it's gonna take just a little bit for this one to process. While that's happening, let's go ahead and move down to our next option. Our next option you may or may not have. Our college, our institution uses Panopto as our lecture capture program and is integrated right into Canvas. Your institution might have Panopto or it might have another kind of a video recording program. If you've got one, here's how you can add those videos. So again, I'm putting my cursor where I want that video to live. And then I'm gonna go up here to my toolbar and choose Panopto. I'm gonna click on this one. It brings up all of my files. There's nothing in this file. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my spring 2023 and then insert a video there. There's a little bit of formatting that I can do. As long as my cursor is in line with my video, I can change the alignment. Now my alignment tool does not show up here. So I'm gonna click on the three dots in that upper right hand corner and then choose, let's, uh, let's choose center align for this one. While I'm here, let me peek up. I'm actually gonna make this a little bit larger so that we can see more at once here. Let me scroll down. I'm just grabbing this array of dots in the lower right hand corner so that I can make our viewing screen, that rich content editor screen, just a little bit bigger. I really wanna scroll up and see if the other one's done processing, and it is. So I can do the same thing with this one. What a goofy picture I've got there. But I can do some formatting on this one as well. If I'm in the same line as that video, I can use my alignment tool and click on center align. I can also resize this one. So if I click on that video, I get those four blue boxes in the corners. I can click, hold, and drag to resize this video smaller or larger. Next, let's talk about adding a video from another site like YouTube, or maybe you've got some of your videos in something like Screencastify. So I wanna scroll down here to insert a video link. So I'm again gonna drop my cursor where I want that video to live, and I'm gonna go over here to YouTube. I've just chosen a random video, but of course you'd wanna carefully pick your video here. But to get it into your Canvas classroom, you wanna click the share button. Now you've got several different options, but we're gonna go ahead first and copy this link. I'm gonna click copy and I've got that link copied and now I can go back over to Canvas. All I've gotta do is to do a control V, V as in Victor, to paste that. I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter and then you can see that this is a live link. But this isn't actually how it's gonna show up to your students. Let me click on save so we can take a look at the videos that we've posted so far along with that link that we just added. So we've got the insert media, we've got our Panopto video, and notice how that link actually gave me a player button. And if I click that button, it will give me that video that students can either play 
right in Canvas, or they can go ahead and open it up on YouTube. Let me go ahead and pause that one. You can also insert a link from Screencastify or another kind of online video platform. These are my videos in Screencastify. I'm just gonna kind of randomly pick one of them, click on it so that I get my options for sharing. So over here on the right-hand side, I'm just gonna copy that share link and then I can go back and insert that share link instead. But I wanna also show you how to embed these videos. Embedding is my favorite one because I think it's the easiest one for students to use and it's got the best look in Canvas. So let's go back to that content editor. I'm gonna click on edit. I'm gonna scroll down and put my cursor under embed there where I want my video to live. Again, you can add some instructions, watch this. And I'm gonna go and grab the embedded code. Let's go back to that YouTube video. So under share, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on share again. Instead of copying this link, I'm gonna click my embed option and it gives me the embedded code. Now, one thing that we didn't talk about, you can also change the start place. So if you want it to be starting somewhere different, which is a great tool, you can change that here and it will change your embedded code or your link. You've got two choices here. You can either highlight the code and then copy it with like a control C or a right click, or you can use this copy tool down here. The copy tool is definitely easier. Let's go back into Canvas and put the embedded code in. Now, don't do what I do, and that's just to paste it right here onto your page. Instead, you need to tell Canvas that you are using embedded code. I'm gonna go up here to my insert menu and from the insert menu, I'm going to choose embed and it gives me this nice pop-up. Now I'm ready to paste that code. So I'm gonna do a control V, V as in Victor to get the code in and then click on submit. You can also do this with Screencastify. In Screencastify, you wanna go ahead and expand the export video option and choose Get Embedded Code. I hope this was helpful. As always, send your questions my way. I've got another video for you here.